uh, Horia Burutsu, developer advocate at IBM here, and I'm here to explain to you one of the code patterns that we recently launched called the Watson Second Opinion. So this code pattern is going to take in some Amazon reviews and it's going to use uh, Watson Discovery, which is um, using some natural language understanding, and it's going to take those reviews, um, parse them, and understand the sentiments, the keywords, the entities behind them. So um, um, in this video, I'll go over the deployment with the IBM Cloud option. So um, hopefully you enjoy this and let's get started. So before I get into the deployment of the app, I just wanted to show you a preview of the app. So basically we're just gonna go to Amazon and find some products to look at. So I'm gonna put in a, the first thing that comes to my head. So that'll be a telephone. So I'm gonna find something to review for this telephone. Uh, we'll go for this headset. Um, and we'll put it into here. It's going to take a little bit of time because it has to call the discovery service and parse some reviews, but within 10, 15 seconds, you should get some sort of answer from Watson's second opinion. So the idea here is if you're spending a lot of time reading through reviews, um, Amazon uh, of Amazon reviews, uh, Watson can kind of give you a different rating here. So this 3.7 comes from this sentiment analysis of the reviews here. So um, we basically normalize those ratings, so um, the higher the positive sentiment, this higher this Watson rating is going to be. So it's just going to give you kind of a second opinion. So we'll try one more here. Um, let's try with this one. So this one has a what, like pretty good rating here. Five out of five. Let's see what Watson gives it. Um, so the basis here again, Watson gave it a pretty uh, still pretty good rating here we see a couple negative uh, sentiments in the reviews though so we just basically are giving a second opinion or a different um, rating system based on Watson's artificial intelligence and the natural language understanding so um, that's the basis of the app and enjoy it so before we get started I want to show you how to run this app locally so um, this is the repository of course and First, we're just going to clone the repository. So as we're cloning it, we'll get the latest uh, version of the repo. And so we got um, Watson's second opinion. And then we come in here, and then we run an npm install. So right now, I'm just going for the local version to show you how to do this. And then, of course, we have our um, config.json.sample um, so we're gonna need to um, to change that so let's go ahead and do that so we go into second opinion and then we go into json.sample rename that to just json and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our discovery credentials so I've already created this discovery service. So basically to create it, you would just go into catalog, click on discovery, and then click on create. And then into our credentials, I'll go into here, and then I'll copy and paste the username and password. So we'll save that. And then if we run node app, we'll get an error. So I'll show you the error there, like you cannot read property password of undefined. So we need to uh, provide an environmental variable for that cloud and URL. So to do that, we're just going to do something like this. And then um, I've already went ahead and created a, um, a new cloud at credential. So I uh, just will go to cloud and then service credentials and then get this URL. And then once we pass that in, we should pretty much be good to go and then do node app now. Um, so you see that it's running. Let's go ahead and run it. Localhost 400. And then if we just click go here, it'll take a little bit of time and it should be running. So um, this is how to run. Um, so yeah, we get the top keywords, the top entity is the related concepts. So this is how to run the app on your local machine. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the one click deployment. So uh, so we have already created the Watson Discovery, but we haven't done the Kubernetes cluster, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go into Catalog and then search for Kubernetes. And then we'll click this, and then we'll click Create, and then we'll click on Free Tier. Should be on the left side here. 
free and then create the name that's very important it's going to call my cluster and then we're going to create the cluster it's going to take a little bit of time and then so now that we've created the cluster let's go ahead and click this deploy to IBM cloud so we just click that and let me bring up the okay so now we're gonna have to create a tool chain here um, so the first thing is, is here uh, we just need a repository name so Watson second opinion test two um, and then now we click on the delivery pipeline so we need a cloud API key to do that um, we just go down into here and then if you don't have an API key for your account create one here um, we're gonna create one really quick so just it's gonna pop up with a create button we click create uh, Watson second opinion key two to create this and then put it in the tool chain and then automatically we'll populate this region and the cluster name and then the ID registry name will be Watson, Watson Second Opinion and then we need the discovery username and password so to do that we just go into our cloud and then we go into discovery just like we did before password and just click create so it's gonna take a little bit of time here but it should load pretty, uh, pretty soon and then while it's setting up, we just have to, uh, we can click here on the de delivery pipeline. So we'll be, we'll get the latest, um, we'll get the latest commits from the GitHub repo. So we'll see here. So it's still running a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of time. And once it's running, we can basically click on this dip. Um, yeah. So we'll just give it a little bit of time to run. Okay, so I just ran into an error, so let me show you the error. So when I go into the pipeline, the deploy stage failed, so you can click on deploy Kubernetes view logs in history to see why it failed. So you can see here that my pod failed, and it says response from my cluster was failed. The cluster is not fully deployed yet. Wait a few minutes and try again. So if we go back to our dashboard, we see that it's still pending, so we'll give it a little time, so don't... If you get run into this error, don't be scared. Yeah, just wait a couple minutes. Okay, so now that we see our cluster is running, let's go back into the deploy, and we'll go into the pipeline. So right after we hit redeploy, uh, we see here that it's passed a couple minutes ago. So within a, a couple minutes here, it was able to pass, and then we can view the application here. And of course, if we just hit go, um, we'll get that result. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'm welcoming all pull requests of course. So um, yeah, Corey Perutu out.